Welcome to Stave Draws. In this video, I'm just going to explain how I used Photoshop to color black and white photos. I've been working on an exhibition for Zandvoort Museum, and the exhibition is about Second World War in the Netherlands, and especially the beach town Zandvoort. I had to restore a lot of black and white pictures for print and I'm using Photoshop. I have the Adobe Creative Cloud and I'm using Photoshop, just look at the uh, version, it's 24.0.0. There is a later version but I still need to update my OS uh, of my MacBook because I'm working on a MacBook. This is one of the pictures I uh, colored in Photoshop and I'm just going to show you the black and white version. So I started out with this picture and these are just people. This is after uh, the liberation of uh, the Netherlands and there are still some bunkers because the uh, exhibition is also about the bunkers they were built for the Atlantic Wall. Um, this is the original picture and what you can use in Photoshop you have the filters and I use the neural filters and they're quite new in Photoshop and you get a lot of different options um, what I use is this option to restore a picture and then it just automatically changes the picture a little bit. What I do is you can turn turn it on uh, the current layer, but I just want to have a new layer so I can see the difference. And above you can adjust the photo enhancement and the scratch reduction. And you just have to, you know, figure out which is the best setting for the picture you're working with. There's also noise reduction color noise reduction, uh, I won't need that, or a halftone artifacts reduction when you uh, want to enhance a picture that has been printed in a newspaper, and the JPEG artifacts reduction when you have a very low picture in a low resolution, you can use that. And it's now processing. Photoshop does that for you. And now it's finished and I press OK. And now I have two different layers and you can see the difference. And you know, sometimes it's just, it takes away a little bit too much of the detail. What I sometimes do is blend these two images. So make the, the opacity a little bit lower still have all the details in your picture. What I then do is merge it. You can use Command E and now I'm going to color this image. I'm going back to filters or filter and then neural filter. And there's another option which is called colorize and it's up here. And then it automatically colorizes your picture and it's pretty fast. You can use different kind of uh, profiles. So if you want a high contrast, you can use it. But I really don't like these filters because they're a little bit too hefty and I want a subtle colorization of the black and white picture. You can also enhance the saturation and also the CMY because this is uh, an RGB picture. Also put it on a new layer and I'm just going to look at the picture and I 
just don't like this part because it's a little bit too yellow. You can also manually change the picture. So when you have the cursor on the thumbnail on the right, you can select the section you don't like and then choose a color. And that's a little bit too much. So you can change the color. Still a little bit too much. Just double tap on the on the swatch and then you can change the color. Just want to zoom in a little. Color of the bunker is okay. This is a little bit more of a gray color because it's a little bit covered with sand. But here you can see some of the concrete shining through. So I'm going to select this part because here it's already, you know, a little bit more blue. And you can also change the strength of your uh, area. Maybe color this, another color. Unfortunately, you cannot zoom in on this picture. It would be great in a, a newer version. Orange. Let's see what happens. This is a little bit too much. Always go to the overall picture, you know, if it's not too distracting. And sometimes it gets the whole area. And this is a little bit too much. You just have to play around, you know, with the, with the colors. Because here it's too white. So when you have selected a color, you can also, uh, when you click again, it will take the last color you selected. I'm going to do the background that's up here. I think this is a little bit too blue. So select the color again and then change it. And our arms need to be a little bit more pink. But, you know, with the small things, I like to do it by hand. Because when I now press on the arm, because it is very small in the in the thumbnail and use a color then a little bit more red also on our legs and give her another uh, dress the color of the dress needs to be different but you know when you look at the little thumbnail there's not much you can do about it so I set the colorization on a new layer and now you can zoom in and then create a new layer and then just use your, um, your brush and most of the time I'm just using the soft round brush and set the opacity to like 25% with a 55% flow. Because I'm now not using a, a Wacom and here you can see a guy also laying behind here. I'm gonna set this layer to multiply and just tap it lightly 
And this way you can further uh, color your picture just by hand. So this is how you can color a black and white picture in Photoshop. I hope you like this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do more tutorials on working in Photoshop, let me know in the comments down below. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.